Hey guys, before we hop into your video, I wanted to tell you guys about my new partnership with BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of it, it's an online resource in which you can find your very own friendly local neighborhood therapist, no matter where you are in the world. You sign up and within 24 hours, they match you with a licensed therapist that's right for you. And you can talk to your counselor every week via phone or video chat, and you also have the opportunity to text them in between sessions. As most of you guys know, I am also a licensed professional as well as a mental health advocate. And sometimes in these readings, very in-depth topics come up that are very intricately related to mental health. And it's for that reason that I offer this resource to you guys. And if you know anyone that can benefit from them or if you yourself can benefit from them, I suggest you take advantage of them. The information to sign up will be in the description box below, but let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hello, water signs. And by water signs, I mean Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Welcome to your end of April into the beginning of May. As above reading, I am Princess India. If you are new and if you are family, welcome back, my friend. So first, we are going to pull a card from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. And the intention of this is to pull light from your past into your present as well as your future for the end of April into May. So I'm going to ask Spirit to give us clear and direct guidance for my water signs. Please, Spirit, anything they need to know, anything of utmost importance, I ask that that come to the forefront in this here reading. So let me get one card for my water signs, please, spirit. Leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. So what is looking like for me, um, water signs? Looking at you guys' recent past, um, and we can even go as far back as to January. So as soon as the beginning of April and as far back as January, I feel that uh, your experiences <laughs> have more or less been lining you guys up to take a chance on yourself. Of course, there is a great deal of um, fool energy that I'm feeling with this. Um but it's more or less taking a step of faith, if you will. And the other element of this I'm feeling, too, is for those of you who um, did that were at the um, the webinar and we talked about the new moon in um, in Taurus. And I talked about the importance of the next um, full moon. I would say that this is more or less a lot of the stuff that you guys um, have learned up to this point uh, would be practically applicable here, right? So this is more or less taking a chance. So the tools that you guys learned about manifestation in the webinar, and those of you um, who weren't in the webinar, it's more or less the intentions that you set under this new moon you would see the first fruits of it um, with the full moon that's coming. So I would see this more or less saying that for all water signs from um, whether it be the new moon or whatever it is that you guys have been working on, you can look at the full moon as a marker point of you guys really taking a chance on something that you feel led to do. So I often like to say that when it comes to um, things that we feel led to do in our life, we often bog ourselves down with the how, right? But I always like to say to leave that to spirit. It's like you do what you feel led to do and you take care of practically what you need to to get into the right position and leave the how to spirit in so many words. So you're not standing in a position of passive faith. So looking at your past influence, we have, whoa. <laughs> we have the suppression card. So <laughs> this is so beautiful. So here's the dealio. When we're talking about taking this leap of faith, 
Um, this is the byproduct of not doing that. So this is more or less what happens when we're in a position to where our spirit is leading us to do something or we feel inclined to do something and we allow external voices, whether it be limitations from other people, whether it be limitations from society, where it's um, thoughts from someone else's head that we're internalizing and it's telling us what we can or cannot do. It's telling us what we should, ought, or supposed to do. So what inadvertently happens is you end up suppressing the truth of who you are. So it's you denying your truth in favor of someone else's that's outside of yourself. Now, that creates a proverbial pressure cooker, right? Because your soul wants to be in alignment with your truth and live out that truth. That's the whole purpose of why it is that we're all here, right? is to create ourselves in the image of that which we know ourselves to be, right? So this is more or less offering you a way out of this because truth be told, if you continue to deny yourself, um, <laughs> everything's gonna implode. It'll be proverbial, spontaneous human combustion because it's only so much of that that a person can take, right? So for the theme for the month, Ha, beautiful. We have integration. So pretty much everything that you guys are encountering for the end of April going into um, the beginning parts of May, it's more or less taking everything it is that you've been through. And I love how this happens because this is so in alignment with everything that's happening behind the scenes. It's you more or less integrating all of your experiences. It's everything that you have been through in your past, all of your life experiences, your challenges, your obstacles, um, listening to the truth of, of what feels right within you. And it's integrating this into your 3D experience and more or less manifesting your higher self through your lower self in so many words. Now, that sounds really romantic and beautiful. The way that this actually looks uh, <laughs> in application you know, it's not as uh, fanciful, you know, it can manifest as, as power struggles and, and depression and, and feeling trapped and things of the sort. But in the bigger scheme of things, it's very intentional and purposeful. So the whole theme for this month for all water signs is going to be the proverbial marriage of yourself meaning your masculine side and your feminine side, your left brain and your right brain, your past and your present. And these, th these two things together birth your future or birth your expression in so many words. And I don't know why I feel the need to say this, <laughs> but hey, I'm here for it. Look at your, your sun sign as well as your moon sign, right? Look at both of those. Look at the, um, this is probably going to be easier for people like myself, where your sun and your moon are the same thing. However, you have to take into account that how a sign manifests in, um, oh, wow, okay. All right, spirit, if you could just give me a second so I can get this out. <laughs> how a particular zodiac sign manifests and uh, like w under the influence of a particular planet, right? It alters it slightly. Um, on my website, if you're a member of my website, you'll be able to uh, access this. But we have um, like a resource library. And in the resource library, um, there is um, a whole manifesto that... Um, my astrology person did on sun and moons and things of the sort. But um, that would be helpful to um, for what it is that I'm seeing here. But, you know, if you have like the same sign in both the manifestation, like say for me, hypothetically, I'm a Taurus, sun and moon. So my the characteristics of that sign in my sun manifest differently with it being in my moon. So it's not like the same thing, but that would be important to some people. And also another thing that would be important is keeping track of what sign the sun is in, as well as what sign the moon is in as we're going through months and things of the sort. So anywho, when we look at your roadblock, oh, how funny. 
we have the laziness card. Okay, so here's the deal. With this card in particular, when we're looking at this in the position of a roadblock, what this is saying is when... And this is a habit I think a lot of humans have. It's like you accomplish something and you begin to rest on your laurels a little bit too much. So it's kind of like you accomplish something and your thought isn't right after this accomplishment to go to the next goal, right? It's like, I'm trying to think of a good example. It's like, uh, okay, say with this energy back here, say we're talking about setting boundaries, right? So if we put... Uh, a, a 3D experience on this energy signature that's manifesting before us right now, we would say that the thing that you're taking a leap of faith on is setting boundaries with people who always violate your boundaries because the way that's been manifesting for you coming into the middle of April is that you've been feeling bogged down, you've been feeling out of alignment with yourself, you've been feeling trapped. So you make the decision to set boundaries and say no, right? <laughs> So that's a form of you integrating yourself. Now, when we get to what the hiccup would be this month, right? What would be blocking your path after you make this big epic decision, right? Is the fact that you, you start to rest on your laurels. So you set boundaries with that one particular person, which was great, but you feel like, yeah, I did it. I set boundaries. Look at me changing and evolving and things of the sort. And then you just stop. Right now, boundaries are something that have to be maintained, meaning it's not something that you just do one time. And that means like you have healthy boundaries established with everybody. Right. So with you resting on your laurels, it's more or less, say, hypothetically, this one person that you set boundaries with. It's like they are trying to find a way around that particular boundary that would be representative in all of this stuff starting to crack and crumble because it's almost a sense of um, being delusional, if you will of thinking that, or even going to the gym, like you go to the gym one time, even though can't none of us go to the gym right now. So let's just say <laughs> like you go running, right? So you go running one time and you think that that's enough. And it's like, oh, I don't need to work out for like another two, three weeks because it's like, I went running today. You know what I mean? It's more or less suggesting that things are a process. So this is kind of how, um, problems that we encounter in our life it's not just a happenstance type of thing it's like if we were to put all of this together and put this into a message it's more or less that the lack thereof of integration within oneself meaning the denying of oneself me not speaking my truth aligning with my truth living with my truth the fact that I'm denying who it is that I really am I can't be integrated. It puts me off kilter and off balance. That adds to this pressure. You know what I mean? Because I'm too afraid to take this leap of faith to step into my truth, right? But however, I'm going through life as if everything is fine when underneath me, everything is falling apart. All of the pressure is building up. So this is more or less how it is that we create towers. And suddenly when the tower falls, we're like shocked and appalled of like, oh my gosh, how did this happen? I didn't see this coming. When in reality, there were so many signs, whether it be with your inner self being off balance, the fact that you were denying yourself and you felt the pressure building up or you heard the proverbial foundation underneath you cracking. But it's, you know, well, I did something. I did as much as I could. You know what I mean? But then we kind of play shocked. So it's more or less speaking to that. It's like now is the time for you to break out of this proverbial prison and to step into your truth. And it's a personal accountability thing. The reason why one would be blocked on their path is because there's a need to admit that in some facet or another, it's resting on your laurels or, or feeling as if you did a certain amount or accomplishing something and getting to a certain space and not continuing to maintain that, if that makes sense. Right now, when we look at the possibilities for the month, we have courage. Oh, that's so beautiful. So that's the thing <laughs> with whatever this is for um, for air signs. I mean, air signs. Good Lord. <sighs> that's fascinating with whatever this is for water signs. It's imperative um, to really 
do I want to just, well, I don't want to say it like that, but I guess I will. It's really about trusting yourself and trusting your own ability. It's like they have a, a card in the Work Your Light deck that says, trust the niggle. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel in so many words, that's really what we're talking about here. There's a need to, um, to trust yourself, to trust your ability to trust spirit for whatever it is that you guys are, uh, hoping to manifest this month or whatever it is you guys are hoping to, um, to align with. Where is the little thingamajig? I gotta throw the dice. But, um, whatever it is you guys are hoping to align with <clears throat> this month, because in the bigger picture, like if I were to say, um, what this is speaking to or uh, what this is talking about in a very simplistic kind of way, to me, it more or less looks like uh, a sense of self-denial, you know, it's in some way or another, it's uh, water signs. And I mean, it, it depending on the person, because we're talking about a lot of people here, this can be as magnanimous and like big or little as um it refers to your life you know so this could be like a huge level of self-denial where you're you know living an entire life <laughs> that's not in alignment with your truth or it could be something as mundane as like um you know a fitness habit or something um along those lines it really depends on the person but overall it really looks to me like a person who is not being honest about a part of themselves or is holding a part of themselves back because they assume that it's wrong and not paying attention to all of the signs that are coming from spirit that are telling you that it's time to let this go. And it's more or less a forewarning because it's like if you continue to present this uh, facade or or um false persona or whatever it is to the outside world pretending that you're happy on the inside or you're comfortable or everything's in order when it's really not it's like it'll ultimately lead to like a tower type of situation so it's about integrating the bad and the good right and um it's gonna require a lot of um strength and courage and commitment in order to uh, manifest this into your experience or to take the steps that are needed in order to do so right it's all about your willpower and your personal strength and clarity <clears throat> about who it is what you're doing and where you intend to go if that makes sense so we're gonna go ahead and throw the good old dice of resonance so you can ask a yes or no question if you like We have Rising Libra, Aries, Bay Lover Partner, and the answer to your question is no. So Libra, Aries, Rising, Bay Lover Partner, and no. And we are going to throw the dice that have no name. Yeah. Leo, the number seven, and Venus. Wow. Hello. Okay, so for Venus, it says learning to love curated relationships with spirit and others cultivate harmony and balance in your life. I don't know. I'm just saying <clears throat> that's very much what Venus is about culminating or curating cultivate whatever, however you want to say it um, harmony and balance into your life is that ebb and flow that um, integration. And this being very much based on a lot of what we talked about in uh, the webinar, which was um, what's important to you, like your foundation that you stand on and you building a life in accordance with that. And when you do that, it's like there's legit nothing that can go wrong. And I say that illustratively, meaning not that bad stuff won't ever befall your path. It's just the fact that you handle life differently when you're living in alignment with your truth, because it by uh, default qualifies all of your experiences. So you understand how to compartmentalize them, if you will. So now if we look at the number seven, that means you guys major arcana for the month is the chariot card. 
And that speaks to imagination, dreams, and openness to hidden realities. What's behind the veil? I don't know, water signs. What is behind the veil? Will you take a peek and see? I hope you do. So now I'm going to um, do you guys cards for the extended. While I was talking to you, I pulled them out on the side here to, uh, you know, cut down on time. So we're going to start with Cancer. For Cancer, the first card that you guys have is the Emperor. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Then we have Temperance. And then we have um, the Six of Pentacles. And your two Oracle cards that speak of uh, your hidden darker influences that are blocks and people or... Um, patterns and things of the sort that are blocks we have the ghoster and then um your dark mirror oracle is the temple of my body so we will go ahead and get into that in you guys extended because the extended readings are you guys by yourself and then we have pisces the sorry about that i got a phone call the uh, card for Pisces, their first card is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Then we have the King of Pentacles. Then we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. And their uh, hidden person or patterns that are blocks. We have Glass Ceiling. And their Dark Mirror Oracle is Envious Gluttony. And that's interesting. I don't remember who had that. I think it was an air sign that had that, but I just can't remember who it is at the moment. And then for Scorpio, we have the sun. We have the world. All right, Scorpio. Then we have the Hierophant in the reverse. We have the Empress. Okie dokie, Lemon Chokey. And your hidden person or pattern or process. We have the social justice warrior. And you guys, Dark Mirror Oracle is Obsession. Fascinating. So we will get into this on the extended. So wherever you watch me, whether that be on my website or on Vimeo, we're heading over there for the extended. So if you're about that life, follow me over there. If not, I still love your freaking face. And I will see you guys sooner than later. Deuces.